Hello students, welcome once again to my channel. Now in this section, we have um, an exponential equation over here. Now we have x to the power lin x being equal to 4 to the power lin 4. So um, let's solve for the value, the value of x in this case, right? So we have um, x to the power the lin of x here being equal to 4 lin 4 here, right? So now let's solve this. Now what we are going to do in order for us to find x we apply log on both sides or we just apply lean we apply lean on both sides so we have the lean of x to the power lean x here being equal to the lean of 4 to the power lean 4 in this case now from properties of indices this drops and then also this also drops right so we have lean x here and then we have lean x also here being equal to lean 4 here and then we have lane 4 in this case, right? Now, since we have double of them, then we can have the lean x squared, then the lean of 4 all squared, right? Now, from this expression over here, if I have um, x squared being equal to y squared, right? In this case, now what is going to happen is that if I bring this to this side, x squared minus y squared equal to 0, then which means that solving this is just similar to s plus y and then also x minus y being equal to 0, right? So since we can use this property, right? We can use this property over here just to simplify um, the whole of that. So we can Right, so we can have um, something like so using this property on both sides, lin x, right, all squared here yeah, being equal to the lin of 4 all squared will basically be equal to we have um, so bringing this to the other side, we have lin x all squared minus the lin of 4 all squared equal to 0, right? So simplifying this, we just have lin x plus lin 4 being equal to 0, right, as 1, and then we have lin x here minus lin 4, being equal to 0, pair the properties we stated over here, right, so we can have something like this, and let's call this one too, so for the first part, right, we can have lin x here, taking this to the other side, we have negative lin 4, and just in this case, we have um, lin x here being equal to, so negative goes to the other side, goes to the top there, right from properties of indices right and we have negative one in this case lean gets rid of lean and we have x being equal to just one over four for equation one and then for equation two we have um, mm -hmm. lean x here being equal to just lean four and this gets rid of that and we have x here being equal to four right so therefore we can conclude that x here is equal to four right and then one over four so that's what we have now let's do another one let's look at this one it's similar to that so let's take it for instance we have b being equal to um, a to the power lin a right a to the power lin a now what we are going to do so we are going to go through the same steps we apply lin on both sides we apply lin on both sides so we have lin b being equal to the lean of a to the power lean a here so this comes down then we have lean b here being equal to lean a all squared right sorry we have lean a all squared so this is what we have now from here yeah. so what we are going to do is to differentiate right we are going to differentiate using the chain rule using the chain rule here all right so differentiate on both sides using a chain rule then differentiating lin b is just 1 over b but remember with respect to um, b right the differential of b and then also this will be equal to um, differentiating this we have one so what we, we want the two drops and then we have um, just lin a here and then what we'll do is to differentiate lin a again Right, from the chain rule, we have 1 over A in this case. So, we have um, the D differential, right? So, we're taking this to the other side, we have 2B lin um, A, and then we have 1 over A, 
right now from the question we said that b is equal to a lin a right so if b equal to a lin a then which means that the formula now is going to look like the formula now is going to look like a lin a and then we have lin a right being divided by a here right this is what we are going to get now for me if you look at um lin if you look at the a over here right now let's define this function over here now um a shouldn't be equal to zero because if a equal to zero then everything goes to zero that's the case and then if you look at a lin a over here a lin a here right also shouldn't be equal to zero right for else that is for else right for real numbers right for else okay and then um but then if you look at it um lin a here right can only be equal to zero then lin a in this case here right lin a here can be equal to zero will be equal to zero when um our a here equal to one right so if um this this is not equal to zero and this is not equal to zero this will be equal to zero when a here so lin one is just will give us uh, over here we are just going to get zero right so that's what we are saying that lin a here will be equal to zero when a equal to one right and then if a equal to one if a equal to one or more right so we can have one two three any uh, values of a right then which means that a is just greater than one and then also um when we sketch we do a sketch over here right yeah just do a sketch we have a and then we have b here right we have b in this case we have um the first one if from the equation we have a in a here right so if a right if a in this case if a in this case equals one then which means that um, b here will also be equal to one right now if a equals um if a equals um two then b here will uh, somehow be increasing one point something right so we have one here and then we have one here which they are meeting here so it's just going to increase so the graph is just going to go to in this direction right in this direction but then if you look at it there the minimum here is just one and then one right so therefore right the minimum value minimum value will just be just one and then also one right that's where they are going to okay right so that will be it for today thank you very much for joining me in this section i hope this session was helpful thank you very much and i'll see you guys in another section